All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Decal Stickers mod, which is being made by forum user Blackheart612. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the ability for you to place more than just one singular flag slash decal on the side of your ships, and I really love that idea, as it's always kind of seemed odd to me in Kerbal Space Program that we only got the one mission flag, because when you actually look at a real-world rocket that gets launched, the darn things have like 10 of them on there. They'll have the country, the mission, the agency, sometimes, you know, depending on if it's another group that built it, it'll be on there too. They'll have loads of different decals, and now, thanks to this mod, so can you. So let's just jump right on into the space plane hangar and have a look at how this all works, as it is a little bit interesting. Now let's actually grab for a change of pace a full-on airplane here in the Ares 3A. Let's move it down, zoom in, and then head to the utility tab, which is where you will find our fun new stickers. Now we have the Place Anywhere sticker mini, the Type A, and the Type B, and each has their own uses and placement varieties. Now the Mini is meant to be used for either a flat surface, because if I place it on there, you'll notice that uh, it is obviously kind of going off the rails around the side of it because, well, it is a flat sticker, which is perfectly serviceable. You can, you know, put it onto, like, say, the side of a wing like this and have a flat decal right there. That works just fine. But if you're going to put it on a curve tank, well, the Mini is designed for a much smaller tank. It's designed more for the .625 variety pieces. And if we place this thing on here, and then we have a different options. Now, right now, as I said, it's flat, but we can actually change the shape with this button right here. So we have next shape and previous shape. And if we click next shape, we get the type A variant, which actually, as you can see, is curving the sticker in this direction. So if we actually uh, rotated this thing properly, there we go. That now snugly fits around that tank, curved just right for its size. And it fits quite lovely right on there. Now, if we hit next again, we go to the Type B, which has it roughly in the position we were earlier, so that this Kerbal Space Program sticker now fits snugly going curved along the tank in that direction. As you can see, a very nice, lovingly fitting curve. Very, very cool. So you can use it flat on any flat surface of any size, but if you're gonna go curved, your two options are gonna have to be for these smaller .625 tanks. Now, if we head back to utility, we then have the Type A sticker, which if we put it on here, you'll notice starts off flat, just like this one, and it functions similarly to this one in that we have a different variants, but this one is a bit different on its variations. So right now we are flat. Now if we hit next, it does curve itself, but you'll notice it's just curving in this direction, not in this direction. And if we hit size or the next shape again, we'll go to size 2 and it's still curved in only this direction. The thing about this one is it's about size rather than just the which way it should go. Now the mini will either go, will curve it in either direction. So whether you want it vertically or horizontally, it'll go both ways because it's designed for the 0.625 containers. This one is designed to just have your logo go in this direction, so sort of, uh, we actually need to rotate it correctly, this direction, so you'll have it vertically going up the tank, and it'll be curved only in that way, but 
its variants are for sizes. So the size one is for the 1.25 size containers. Size two is for the 2.5 and the three for the, oh boy, is it three point? Oh God, I always forget the decimal for the three meter sizes. But yes, the size three is for the three meter size tank. So if we bring it up to that one, it would fit that quite nicely. But as you can see on a 1.25 meter, <laughs> it kind of goes off the edges a bit. Now, if you did want it going Going across rather than vertically you would have to go with the type B as it will serve that function there we go and it only has the size 1 size 2 and size 3 because well we really don't need a copy of flat again for the type A because well flat is flat whether it's on any sized thing so you really don't need to make another copy of that so for this the type B's will only be between the size 1, 2, or 3 and having the logo going in that more horizontal direction rather than the vertical. And I quite like that. It fits on there very nicely. And then we have, of course, our other options here. If you don't want the Kerbal Space Program icon, we can switch it up to any of the others. We got the ESA, the NASA logo, KSP, etc., etc. Now, one thing you should notice, though, as I go through all of these, is that these are the stock decals included in the game. It isn't including, say for instance, my icon over there, which is in the same folder, but it can't find it because the config file is only grabbing these sort of stock default decals. So as you can see, we went all the way through and it didn't find mine. Now you can make it so that it does find those or actually, well, basically you're adding it into the config file, uh, but it will take you editing that config file to make it work. But if you want to put in that extra effort, that is up to you. But if you do, you could potentially potentially have an infinite number of decals just in any shape and variety for you to put onto your ships. And I love that thought because, well, I mean, it's, it's fun having all these different things on here. There we go. That one fits quite nicely on that tank. Look at that. That's that's almost perfectly custom made. I love it. And yeah, it just gives you a lot of options on how you can decorate your ship to make it look a little bit more interesting. Now you will see, of course, some occasional little uh, glitches, like on this ESA one, we got a little bit of clipping issues here, uh, but you know, just readjust where it is on the ship will usually fix that. And uh, of course, if you have overlap with others, it's gonna cause issues in that regard as well. But overall, you just gotta find the right size and then type that you need and you're good to go. So just another quick recap, the mini is for the 0.625 sizes and will be either flat, vertical, or horizontal. The type A is for vertical placement or flat placement and will be in the one, two, and three meter sizes for tanks. And finally, the type B will be your more horizontal icons in the size one, two, or three meters. And it's very cool. So you can add as many of these decals as you want. Just place them all over your ship to show off who built what. And that's pretty fun. And again, if you do take the time to edit the config file, you can get in other custom things in here as well. And so you can have basically an endless supply of things. But yeah, that is basically it for this mod. I mean, there's really no reason to take this thing out for a flight. It is simply just showing off that we can add decal stickers to our ships. And well, that's a fun thing. Unless of course you have a slower computer and every part counts towards your frame rate, then maybe that's not such a good thing. But for people who, you know, have more stable frame rates, you know, have at it at 20 of these things to increase your part count. But yeah, that's going to be it for today, folks. I hope you have enjoyed. Oh, oh, of course, the usual spiel. If you do want to try out this mod for yourself, take a look at the link in the description, which I don't know why I forgot to say that. But now, now I can do my ending where I hope you all have enjoyed this video today. And of course, you do come back for the next one. We'll hopefully be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.